Hello viewer, welcome to the first edition of Sparkle. I am Joshua Blaine. I'm reaching you from Dada Multimedia Studios, right here in the Garden City of Port Harcourt. With me in the studio this morning is a young, talented musician, artist, a vocalist, songwriter. He's everything, trust me. He has this rhythm and soul that stirs your heart whenever he grabs the mic to sing. You really want to check this guy out. It's simply MG. Good to have you on the show, MG. Welcome. You always look pleasure. And smash it as always, Thank bro. You. Thank you. Good one, good one. So, considering the fact that you do alternative Afrobeat, you also do urban contemporary, yeah. have you been able to carve a niche for yourself in the music industry? Um, being consistent in my sound, I haven't really gotten to that stage yet. Yeah. You know, because I'm not all out. Yeah. Yeah, but I have like a few projects that has um, those fusions in it. So, mm. but I'm sure consistency is definitely going to make me, you know, have that spot there in the industry. So yeah. Wow, that's nice. Pretty good, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So, what inspired your music journey, and why did you choose the gospel genre? Um, let's see. That's how it's meant to be. Mm. Yeah, because I'm. Um, my music itself is more like a prophecy. Wow. Yeah, so I can't really say I had so much of a choice to make, mm. even when I had. Yeah, but I knew, you know, who I was every time um, I had to choose, and I still know who I am. So basically, that's why I'm still here. Yeah. Man, that's serious. I like yeah. the fact that you say, <laughs> I know who I am. <laughs> you know, that kind of feeling. Yeah. Lots of people out there don't really know who they really are. True. You know, so if I may ask, who's MG? Um, MG is, um, I like to call him an alternative Afrobeat gospel artist. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, with the aim of, you know, taking the gospel beyond the lines that have been drawn mm -hmm. for now. So, yeah, I think that's who I am. Wow, that's nice. I really like the way you simplified who you were yeah. in just a phrase and a sentence, and you killed it, man. <laughs> MG. Yeah. Trust me, I really love your vibes, love your sound, paranormal activities. I've always mm -hmm. seen that. I've followed <laughs> you severally on social media, all of that. And trust me, how do you intend to bring your sound, considering the fact you said you were, you were trying to bring us out from a line that we've never crossed? So, how do you intend to bring your sound into the hearts of people? And for them to cause that acceptance and acceptability. Okay, I can't, I can't say never because if I see that line has never been crossed, then I'll be committing a fallacy. Wow. Yeah, because we have the likes of Tim Godfrey. Yeah. You know, pretty much. Okay, in Portaco here yeah, we have Prince Emmanuel. That's yeah. like one guy I would really love to work with sometime. Yeah. You know, yeah. We have Prince Emmanuel. So many other, you know, a few faces in the yeah. scene that I had made, you know, those steps before I even came, you know, this much into the music industry. So, yeah, yeah um, but it hasn't really been easy. Yeah, sure. But we'll definitely get there. Yeah, sure. Different. So, that's how I came up. Mm, it's, it's quite phenomenal how everything gets to inspire mm -hmm. you. And so, can you just tell us how many other people do you listen to? Who do you really listen to? Who's your role model for you? Um, Personally, you know, many persons have actually, you know, had issues with me whenever I say this thing, but I don't have any role model oh. in the music industry. I listen to different personalities, okay. but I don't make them, you know, idols in my career. Okay. Because at some point in my life, I was, I'm still a Mali music fan. Yeah. You know, I, I took time to score, you know, more like going under a surgery, you yeah. know, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, so sure. like I've always been that person and I would go for gigs and I'll hear people chanting Mali music, Whoa. Mali music. And I'm like, I'm MEG. Mm -hmm. I'm not Mali music. You get so I had to take a break from listening to um Mali for yeah. a while. Then it took a whole lot of time to me to come out from that box because yeah. I had kids myself. Yeah. So that was when I stay aiming at you know Afrobeats because yeah. I I discovered I had strength there. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Wow, that's nice. That's yeah. nice. C carving out the sound and making it count and making it work out. You signed on to Dadam Records in 
July, somewhere around July, August, something like okay, that. Okay, but that was in 2018. I think August, it was August. Okay, like that. okay, that was in 2018. And you released your debut single on the 1st of November 2018. So mm -hmm. how did you, how, how has it been for you? God was a hit and you further went on to bring Eternity, which was a blast. You have to sort of fit, trust me, because I can remember me doing some Zanko's leg works to Eternity yeah. because that song was really, it was really a hit also. So how has production been so far, signing on to the record label? How's it been for you? Um, it has been amazing because, yeah. you know, I have like the best teammates. Mm. You could actually ask for wow. because we all, whenever we're in the studio, we put on like we put in so much energy yeah. into the music, and you know everybody's contribution adds up to the music itself. Yeah. So I have like my own space in my head, but yeah. whenever I bring the idea, you know, you hear the sound from this person, the different musicians are there, and boom, you know, we're already making good music. So, wow. but it's been amazing, you know from God, eternity, I find you, and I really don't want to talk about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, there's something about that in multimedia. The sound and the production, everything is just all about excellence. And yeah. you know, like you said, the energy is massive. The energy is yeah. amazing. Everything there is just <laughs> wow, out of this world. But like you said, we're all taking our time. And it seems they ain't ready for us, right? Yeah. So, uh, what 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 is Find You all about? Like, tell us about Find You. Um, Find You is one of those songs that came like that. Yeah. I was in the studio. I was done working that day. Yeah. It was about five p.m. Yeah. Um, it was on a Friday, so I was about closing. Then I was waiting for my director to come brief me. Yeah. Because we had like some things to work on the following week. Yeah. Then. I'm not really, I don't really know how to play the keyboard though. Okay. So I was just vibing. And then, I don't know, I started reminiscing on a whole lot of things. Yeah. Then it just came like anywhere I go. Like it doesn't, it doesn't even, the way you're going to hear Find You wasn't yeah. really the way it came, like it came at first. Wow. More time it evolved, yeah. you know, became what it is now. So yeah. yeah, I can't really point out anything in particular, but find you was just an inspiration that came wow that's really nice that's amazing so we've seen you top several chats on different platforms yeah. on social media and other media platforms too so how has that been talking about the media publicity the production and all so how's it been for you it's been amazing you know very it's, it's actually very funny like to me sometimes because yeah. I I tend you know to feel unrealistic sometimes because I go online yeah and I'm searching through you know some pages and I'm seeing my name amongst like those stars I usually yeah. look up to yeah. and like you know, one day I'm going to be like this person and most times I'm even like on top mm. and that feeling can really beat that feeling yes yeah. it's really yeah. amazing sure you know, but Basically, it's been really nice moving yeah. from one stage to another. So I'm looking forward to you know bigger glories. Yeah, 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 yeah. Emma, you can allow the fact that you're a very attractive young man, <laughs> <laughs> considering the fact that you have that amazing voice of angels. You know, mm. so we can take the fact that you have lots and lots of female fans that come around you, the yeah. ones to get. Okay, in touch with MG. So how do you handle those kind of distractions and how do you handle that aspect of life? Yeah, like you said, distractions. Mm. So I mean Did I just say that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said it too. Really. Distraction. So I don't know. I'm just focused on my career. Wow. And my, you know, education at the same time mm. because I'm a law student. Wow. Yeah. So but my career is like number one thing in my life right now. Wow. That's nice. I don't really I try to avoid controversies that will mix me up in any kind of you know how this industry yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just try to avoid like obviously it's something that is inevitable. Yeah, sure. But I try to avoid, you know, that big hole yeah. for you know, I just keep myself off. You know, Okay, that's nice for yeah. young man. I see a young man with prospects. <laughs> that's very good. 
Good to have you on the show, MG. So, one word for your fans out there, one word for everyone that looks up to you and that wants you to give them a bit of advice, what would you have to say to them? Um, um, I used to tell people, don't get upset when people don't believe in you. Mm. Because, just like having a dream, you know, no matter how you have a dream in the night, when you wake up, no matter how you try to explain that dream to another person, the person would never have that same idea of the experience that taking place yeah. in that dream, you know. So always be like a picture you paint in that person's head. Yeah. But you had that dream, it's your own dream. Yeah. They weren't there in the dream with you. Yeah. So you shouldn't be upset when people don't support you. Yeah. yeah? So be focused. Um, be consistent in all your ways, even wow. the Bible said so. Wow. Be consistent in all your ways, don't be like a shaft. You know, today you're trying to do this, you're trying to. Mm -hmm. By the time you try to put your hands everywhere, you don't really have anything to hold. Yeah. So, consistency is like the only thing, then you have to find you. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you have to find that's what entrepreneurs like to see. Like uh, you have to find yourself. But basically, yeah. that's the truth. You yes. have to find yourself because it took me time to actually know the kind of music I really wanted to do. Mm. Now, singing the regular, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. But once I found myself, then I had to focus. Um, like, I like to use Bonner Boy, for example. For yeah. so many years, Bonner Boy was in the scene yeah you know working he was dropping some massive songs yeah sure no but at some point everybody knew that there was more to what we were hearing yeah. from this guy yeah the moment he became consistent and he found himself yeah. boom he moved down as a grammy nominee yeah boom, that's amazing so for everything you do you have to be consistent sure like, sure that's like six people oh, so yeah how's it been how would you reach nigeria music and Entertainment industry. Okay, first of all, I'd like to give it out to Mr. Chimo yeah. for working, you know, and and breaking boundaries yeah. in the gospel industry. Yeah. You know, I, I've seen her faces in some platforms I never expected. Yeah. You know, and that's really amazing. Oh. You know, then in terms of our words, so you could actually count. Our, you know, there's so many faces it's in Godfrey, from Fred Woods, Jupiter, Priyo Didi. There are so many of them, yeah, you know, we give it out to them for working. Yeah. KD, that's like one person I really love, Freke. Yeah. You know, those guys are actually there and they're yeah. trying to break, you know, everybody's really trying to break that space. Yeah. But, you know, we have like the front liners that are hitting it on the head. Yeah, and that's, that's to say that we're really doing really great and massive in Nigeria here. Yeah. So, if you want the best recording and best production, you just need to come to that Multimedia International. You need to come to that Multimedia International for your recording, book for your sessions. MEG is one artist that signed under the record label yeah. in 2018 and he's doing lots of great experts. Yeah, like I, I like to put it out there because, you know, many persons conflict some things in the music industry in here. I don't think there's any platform yeah. Potaco that has as much weight as DMI. Yeah. You know, it's no high. Yeah. No high. Because sure. we have I mean, look at Praise Wine. Yeah. That's like the biggest worship platform yeah. in South South Nigeria. Yeah. Like you can't even match. Yeah. So I mean all these things that happens in the background and the front line, you can't be really compared to things that happen right now in this part of the country. So yeah. you know, whatever thing you're doing as long as you're close to the southern part of Nigeria, yeah, that's the DMI. Yeah, sure. Trust me, that's it. definitely that's the DMI. Yeah, yeah. If you're just joining us, you're on to Sparkle, and over here in the studio, I have with me MEG, a yeah. phenomenal gospel artist, a wonderful musician and vocalist. MG, he has the alternative Afrobeat sound. Yeah. He also does his urban contemporary. And trust me, we all had a lovely and amazing experience with you in the studio today. MG, all you. pleasure. Thank you. Good to have you around. Sure. Thank you very much. And stay tuned for the next edition of Sparkle. I am Joshua Blaine, and I'll remain your host for Sparkle. It's MG, one time, one time, one time. See, maybe I find a way to see you in my dark.
darkest times and bright lights And deeper seas of swim Get me drowned in search of you and find a view